I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sew Anastasia's 12 Days of Christmas. December 1st to the 12th, I will be putting out a new tutorial every single day. All of these tutorials are going to be about creating gifts that you can give this holiday. These are gonna be super easy DIY gifts that you can make right at home. There's nothing better than getting and receiving DIY holiday gifts. Speaking of gifts, I am giving away a sewing machine this holiday. I'm giving away this brand new, beautiful Husqvarna Viking Jade 20 sewing machine. All you have to do is enter the giveaway and the link is down below in the description with all of the details. This contest starts December 5th and goes through December 15th and I will be picking a winner on December 20th. So tell all your friends and family and make sure you get your entries in. I cannot wait to read your post on what inspires you to sew. It is super easy to enter and how amazing would it be to win a new sewing machine for Christmas or you could even give it as a gift. And don't forget, all of the details are down below in the description for how to enter. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. And don't forget, I now teach sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago, Illinois, and I teach virtual lessons as well. So make sure you check those out at SewAnastasia.com. Today on the 12 days of Christmas, we are going to make a golf club sock. What? This is perfect for the golfer in your life on your Christmas list. You could customize this in their favorite colors. You could embroider their name on it. You could quilt it. You could do so many different creative things with this golf club sock. Today we're gonna be making a neon orange and blue one. Supplies for this project are really easy. You're going to need your scissors to cut it out. You're going to need some matching thread. You're also gonna need about a quarter of a yard of some vinyl, and you're going to need about an eighth of a yard of some rib knit. And of course, you're going to need a pattern. We've been working hard over here, coming up with the perfect golf club sock pattern, and we've got it for you. So download it on SewAnastasia.com under digital downloads. The first thing you're gonna do is cut out your paper pattern. There's gonna be a back pattern piece, a front pattern piece, a rectangle rib knit square, and this is for the side of your golf club cover. Next, you're gonna cut out your fabric. We have our front, our back, our side, and our band for the bottom. The first thing we're gonna do is sew the back of the golf club cover to the straight edge of this strip. So make sure you place right sides together and then we are going to follow this all the way around the straight edge until it creates a shape. We're gonna sew it up at a quarter inch seam allowance with a straight stitch. So let's go do it. Okay, so make sure you're back stitching at the beginning and as we go, just make sure you're lining up the edges because we're sewing a curve into a straight line. Back stitch at the end and cut. You can really see how the shape is starting to transform right now. So we sewed that curved shape into that straight edge. Now grab the rib knit piece and we're gonna sew it to the other side. Make sure you're placing right sides together and we're basically gonna do the same thing, sewing all the way around this U shape now. Don't forget your seam allowance is a quarter inch and make sure you backstitch. As you're lining up your edges and rotating the shape, make sure you always have a straight line while you're going into your needle. sewing curve so easy. You just need to keep the two inches in front of you nice and lined up all the time. And then when you're done, they magically fit together. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. So we've got the rib knit piece in here and it's looking great. And you can see we got the vinyl on the other side. Now what we wanna do is grab our rib knit rectangle and we are going to 
place the short sides together and sew this up at a quarter of an inch. Don't forget to back stitch. Back stitch at the end and cut. Now that we have our seam sewn up, what we want to do is flip it wrong sides together. So that way we have a finished edge on the outside and a finished edge on the inside. So line up the edges of your rib knit. And then we're going to place it on the inside of the top of the golf club cover. And then it should be smaller than your opening here. And we're gonna stretch it while we sew it so that way it brings it in a bit. So let's sew that rib knit cuff on and then we'll be done and we get to try it on the golf club. Don't forget the back stitch. And stretch the small rib knit cuff so that way it fits into the opening of the golf club cover. Overlap your stitches, back stitch, and cut. Now that our cover is finished, let's turn it right side out and check it out. It is looking great. So let's try it on the golf club now. Check that out. We've got a golf club sock. How cool is that? These are so easy to make. You could make these for all the golfers on your Christmas list. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. I hope you had fun making a golf sock with me. If you have any questions on it, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below. I would love to know what you think of this and what colors and fabrics and customizations would you do to the golf club sock. Also, don't forget, I'm giving away a sewing machine this month, so make sure you enter. Free sewing machine, what? More information on how to win that is down below in the description. And don't forget to follow me on social media, on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all those other fabulous social media websites so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And don't forget, this gift is a part of the 12 Days of Christmas where you can check out all the different gift-giving ideas. Thanks so much for watching, bye.